hi guys and welcome to my channel well on today's drawing we're looking at cam profile with a roller follower and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel ring the bell to get notified when i post new and exciting videos all right let's get drawing draw the profile of a cam for a roller follower with the following particulars Shaft diameter equals 25 mm, roller diameter equals 12 mm, lift equals 72 mm, horizontal distance between roller center and cam center equals 18 mm, vertical distance from the cam center equals 35 mm. The first thing to know is that we are giving shaft diameter to be 25 mm, that means in radius we have 12.5 mm radius. 1.5 I place my draw I join I mark the center point okay now we'll be given that the horizontal distance between the cam center to the ruler the ruler center is 18 that is okay from here i'll just show a straight line first of all from the center horizontal distance is 18. Eighteen. okay then the vertical distance from the cam center to the ruler it's 35 millimeter so I'll measure 35 my ruler. It's 35. Okay. Now I'll place it here. And there is circle. Okay. Alright. So I'll pin at this point and to this part here where we have 18. I'll draw this circle. This circle will serve as my offset circle. Okay. And then I'll carry it up straight. This point here will be where my follower will start from. Alright. Now, since question two is that is a knife edge follower, okay, and the follower diameter is twelve, that means the radius will be six, okay. So this is six. Now I'll draw a circle here of radius six millimeter. Okay, from the question. We are also given that the lift is equal to 72 millimeter. That is from here, from this point, I'm going to measure 72 millimeter straight. Okay, draw this line. From here, I'll just bring it up. Okay, so having done this, I'm going to divide this, my base circle, into 12 equal parts. Oh, I don't know. So, I'll divide this base circle into 12 equal parts. Now, because this question didn't give us any motion or any degrees, normally, if we're given a degree, we will join this, these two points. Okay. And then start measuring our degree from, from, from this part. So if we are giving lift, return, we have degree. But this question, we weren't giving any degree. So we're going to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Now, I'm not going to do the normal 12 equal parts because this is an offset. Okay, it's not, it's not, it's not starting from the center. Now, this is what I will do. Since I'm dividing into 12 equal parts, and this is angles in a circle is equal to 360, right? So to get 12 equal parts, I'll do 360. 
360 or divided by 12 divided by 12 which will give me 30 degrees so that means i'll be going 30 degrees okay so it means i'll place this here and i'll be going 30 so 30 60 90 okay then 120 then 150 then zero okay also come this way again place it this way okay i'll have 30 16 19 120 150 and then back here all right now at this point in time i wouldn't join all these points to the center this is what i would do please watch very closely from here i'll join to this part instead of joining it i will just stick this part here where it falls on the base here no? again to this next one to this next point and put on the base circle just like that and it falls on the base circle this line okay so i've marked all the points on this base circle so i'm going to click call here one because this is zero put here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and back here twelve all right now after doing this please listen very attentively remember this is the base circle okay this is the camshaft and this is what you call the offset circle okay just like circle in some question okay so i've done this now this is my base circle base circle okay this is my offset this is my cam shaft now i'm going to tangent or i want to draw lines from all these divisions to tangent this offset at a point now tangent is a line that produces the second face of a circle at one point so from this point, I'll, this is circle, this is circle what I'm talking about this big one that we're referencing now. So I will draw a line that will pass through, that will touch the circle at one point. So it will be like this. Now I can't draw this line like this because if I draw it, it must pass at the circle. Then I can I can also draw it like this. So the only way I can draw it is to draw it this way and tangent the circle at one point. Next one. Okay, it's tangent it here. I'll just draw. Okay, and then keep drawing. Alright, so I'm cutting this. Okay, I'll divide this lift into six super parts. So, since the length of this line here is 72, okay, so to divide this six super part, I'll do 72 divided by 6, which gave me about 12, okay, 12. I'm doing 1.2, 1.2, 1.2. So, this is 1.2. So I'll call here one, two, three, four, five. All right. 
have it done this okay so i will click or i'll quickly extend all these lines that i have this tangent lines i will quickly extend them outward okay the mouse one as long as possible but before we do extendments we need to know where actually the, this line will stop so i'll lock, lock on look rough so i'll pin at this middle point elongate to the top of my roller flower and i'll draw a big circle the circle will serve as where they will stop okay so i drew, I drew this big circle i know that all my lines should be stopping at the peak of this circle okay and then get these lines to set the circumference okay after elongating the lines that is what i'll do my compass i'll pin at the middle points okay pin the middle points from line one this to line one okay Line two to line two, line three to line three, line four to line four, then line five. Okay, I did line 5 to line 5, then 6 lines to stop here, that's the perfect circle, now go again, this is 11 to 11, 10 to 10, having done this, I will then mark all these points, okay, these points where 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3 touches. Okay. After marking this point, now with the same radius of this, our ruler, our ruler diameter as its radius, on this point I will draw the same circle. Okay. I will repeat this process for all the points I just marked. Okay, so I drew the circle for all these points. Okay, and this was this is like what I was doing. At this tangent, like at the under of all these circles. Okay. I'll mark those points. Okay. All these points now will serve as the motion for our cam. Now with a nice French curve, I will join these parts. But because I don't have a French curve today, I'll make use of my hand. But please, for your exam sake or exam purposes, please make use of a French curve. A good French curve, please. So I'll join Okay, so guys, with I use actually use my hand to join all these points together, but you also join them with the French curve. So this is how the diagram will look like. This is the cam profile for a ruler follower. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please endeavor to like this video if you find it interesting and helpful. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video to your to your friends and wish that we'll be news of it. And please tell me in the comment section. What videos you would like me to upload next? You can also drop your questions concerning this drawing on the comment section of the video. All right, see you in the next episode. The next drawing will be dropped in the description part of this video to learn how to draw the cam profile of a roller flower.